According to a new survey, young people in Britain are reluctant to join the Navy and especially so to work on submarines and all because they can't log on to social networks while they're underwater. Issues not only repelling new recruits, but trained specialists are also leaving. Last year saw a dramatic rise in voluntary outflow, with more than 5% of the entire Navy heading for permanent shore leave. The Defence Ministry has spent £5 million on advertising and released a promotional video to attract young Brits. Whether it's in the Arabian Gulf, North Sea, Afghanistan or the icy waters of the South Atlantic, your Royal Navy is out there doing what is asked of it and at times much, much more. Helping restore stability, bringing humanitarian assistance and saving lives. Journalist Tony Gosling says the real reason the Royal Navy is losing people has nothing to do with underwater internet. The, the 16 to 24 year olds from which the Na Royal Navy recruits, uh, their unemployment at the moment is the worst it's been for 20 years. So that's 15% uh, from that age range are now unemployed. So it's nothing to do with Facebook. That's just more propaganda and lies, I'm afraid, uh, in order to convince the politicians that this is what's causing it. It's not being caused by that at all. It's this problem of a desperately bad morale. The fact here is that Britain doesn't really have an independent uh, force, uh, armed forces anymore. Uh, what we're doing effectively is uh, fighting not for Britain but for America. That's why the morale is so low. There's a very simple answer to this recruitment. Britain needs to have its own independent defence policy. Not an American attack policy but a British independent defence policy.